Hi everyone, welcome to my video. Today in this video we are going to model this part. Uh, let's start together. Firstly, we are opening a new part. And the first operation creating a sketch in our front plane. I am placing here to line. And also here a line. And then selecting everything and turning them into construction line. This is 110 millimeter. Here we have 50 millimeter value. Some guys asking me how we give the, uh, the diameter value when you go other side of the, uh, your construction line, program converts to it a uh, diameter value. Here we have 32 millimeter. Uh, after this operation, we place here an arc and then later one spline. We have a little bit play spline. Tangency relationship. Yes. To define our arc, I'm placing here one extra construction geometry, which is tangent to it, because we cannot define a tangency without a line in this case. That's the reason that I'm placing here. 35, radius 45, and then our uh, tangency value, value AD. Here we have 30 degree angle. And then the last thing that defining our tangent relationship, selecting first we select two line while control is pressed, and we add tangency value. As you see, a sketch is fully defined here stated, and we can go next step. Next step is revolve surface. Uh, after this operation, we go up from top plane and we place here a line, another line, and we gave between 18 degree angle. We break our surfaces, split line. Because I'm going to use these uh, uh, break lines when I'm creating my planes. And we are going to break one more time this uh, surface. Program not allows to break three line. Maybe it could be done if we are not combining them in a center, but uh, I'm not going to interest it, interest it now. Basically, we also divide to surface uh, break. And then we look from front plane. Here, I will create a line. And then while control is pressed, I select my line. And then the origin, giving a midpoint relationship. Next step will be linear pattern in the y direction. I need a nine time line. We should have eight times space one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's good. And later we place this line with midpoint relationship to there. And program for me automatically spaced these gaps. Now the operation will be breaking our surfaces. It is done. We can start our operations. Firstly, we'll be creating a plane. Sorry. This point, this point, and midpoint. 
we say okay and in this sort of plane we are opening a sketch and we are going to combine three point when we come here select point and the edge from surface while control is pressed we say pierce and we are saying here 45 degree angle the length is not important because automatically will be cut it first operation was this and then the second operation picking up this line this point and this three point again on this plane same operations after sure if you are able to done the first step uh, the the rest is the same in fact peers again 45 degree if we hide for a while what we obtain you will see something like this uh, with this sequence we will go till up with same operations and then last operations will be easy uh, reference geometry with point this point this point creating here one sketch again combining this three point and giving relationship with peers not going to tell everything each time in the beginning i explained the sequence for uh, defining a sketch again we start point one Let's leave it like this. Second layer also is done. We are going now the third one. Operation same. We can hide this plane. Yes, third layer is done. A good example and good training for working with planes, in fact. You are repeating all the time. Once you did this, and I think 100 here, you will not forget about how you open a plane in a surface. Plane 8 again. Piers.
but with S also as button in the keyboard, you can have uh, your uh, features. Combining again. Last three layer. Almost done. I came across this model in Pinterest and I like a lot. And I want to make a video for you. I hope you will like it. I think it is a nice printable model. Uh, yes, operation. So here again, peers. One more layer first done. Last operations. Hold on. And then here, peers. We forget to close sketch. And last point here, here, and then this point. We start here. Peers. Here also peers. Doesn't allow us. Okay, it is almost done. Yes, we can now hide our body. Uh, mostly, uh, yeah, it is done now. And the thing is that now I'm going to create a surface group by deleting uh, surfaces and then I will knit them. Because by this way, it is easier to build a close body instead of combining all these parts. I delete surfaces 
and now I have individual services and I made all of them combined. We have two surface body in fact. And here we have a sketch. And in origin, by clicking top plane, I create an axis. And after axis, we create a circular pattern with this body uh, 20 times. And we obtain this result. After this operation, we select everything. Uh, merchant this will not help here, but it's okay. We basically uh, need everything. And now we say open loop, planar surface, and close our top. And coming here again, right click, open loop, planar surface, and closing this body also. Here I will show a trick, maybe it will help. I change the place of surface, right? and then I will add the last two objects that I added here. We can now create this a solid here. Basically, I have solid now, and I will hide the solid. To be able to cut easily, I will uh, offset the surface inwards and I will use cut surface command. We select all surfaces. Inwards. And we hide outer body. Open loop, planar surface. And now we will need these two objects. This was our base uh, surface. Now we have here a, a, a solid. Uh, we should extend this surface because when you use a surface cut, cut with surface, uh, the surface should be uh, outside of your object and we will by this way we will cut a volume inside here arrow shows internal cut and you can hide this two thing now this was the last step uh, i hope you enjoyed the video you have learned something new uh, for other and more advanced videos, uh, please do visit my channel. Let me know if you have any questions or ideas in the comments. Thank you for watching this video. Hope to see you in another video soon.